Why did Thor file a police report? Someone stole his thunder. It's time to learn about one of the most valuable parts of access control. With PDK, you can run reports for anything that can happen in the system. When you open your app and you go to reports, you're gonna notice three different types of reporting options. We're gonna focus on each one of these in the next couple of videos, but for this one, we're gonna go ahead and talk about people reporting. People reports are used to pull data based on a user's information that is in the access control system. To build one of these reports, open your app, click on reports, and then click on people reports. Then we need to hit that plus button to be able to build the new report. Okay, step one, name the report. The next step is filtering out results based on users' information. When you hit that plus button, you're gonna see a lot of different filtering options that will help us to narrow down exactly what we're looking for. In this example, let's search for people who are members of a specific group. Does this make anybody else feel like a detective? After you selected groups, you're then gonna be able to filter this out a little bit more to determine whether or not these users are a member of a specific group or not a member of a specific group. Then, we just need to simply select which group we're looking for. Next, we need to determine exactly what we want this report to display. To do this, let's select our output. By clicking that plus button, you're gonna see all sorts of different information that you can select this report to display. We're very detailed. Once you've chosen exactly what information you want to be displayed, you can then go ahead and hit that refresh button to view the report. You can even hit that export button to download the report. If you want to save this report for future viewing, hit that save button up at the top. That save report can now be viewed anytime you access the people report section. Reporting with PDK is really easy. PDK is simple to use anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to watch the next video in this series for more how-to instructions.